Hi everybody, Mark the Flitting Feathers again today and I'm tying a sea trout fly for you. This is the hover shrimp or the hoover shrimp. It's uh, an avid uh, Gerolsen pattern. Um, slight variation in his but it's quite a nice wee fly so I thought I'd tie some up for my box and take you through it. Um, hook I'm using is a pastridge saltwater shrimp. It's a size 6. But it's up to you what you use, use your preferred shrimp hook. But it starts some white, six saw it, about halfway up the shank. And I'll take it around the bend until the thread's in line with the barb. Then I'll trim away my waist. Now, this is really the kind of main difference that I've got because it's just a, I've added a wee bit of extra colour. So I've got, um, so his, his version is all natural, but I'm using some, I've blended in some hot orange, fluorescent orange, um, sulphur into the mix here. And I'm just, what I'm just doing is I'm just aligning the fibres. This is a, a mix of fluorescent orange, natural white and a wee bit of black. And I've aligned the fibres so they're all going in the same direction. I'm just going to tie that bunch in there and quickly run the thread back. Just tidy everything up. Right, it doesn't need to be perfect because the whole fly is going to be dubbed anyway. So, And then to get this to stick up I'm going to throw A few wraps underneath. And that kicks it upwards. Right, so you can see there you've got this sort of upward uh, attitude on that. Um, for the feelers I'm using some natural possum. American opossum, uh, and I want a clump with, I don't know, four or five guard hairs in there as well. Oops. Take away the under fur, but I want some of these black black tips in here as well as the longer guard hairs. Now these long guard hairs for the feelers you only want as I say three or four hook length for them and then a hook length for the the black tipped shorter fibre. Right? But you don't want any of the really soft under for take that away. So we'll catch that in. Two or three turns. See how it's sitting. Now it might put that might push your shield fur down a wee bit, so you can come back in if you need to with an extra few wraps on under here. And then I'll trim this about half the length, or a third of the length of the rest of the shank. And again, just run my thread down. Tidy it up. And I'm going to switch to like, the plain dubbing, so it's just the natural. It's a bit of uh, it's natural white seal fur with maybe 10-15% black added in. Right, I, I mix this first and then stuff with the fluorescence for the the mouth parts. I just take a some off and blend that. So I'm going to make a small dubbing ball here to spread the eyes. Take it 
take a turn under there just to help it. Just keep tightening this up. A decent, a decent wee ball, and you want it to be tight. Then eyes. I've just these are eyes that I make. Um, just lacquer then epoxy over a bit of burnt mono. But you can buy your eyes. It's up to you. Tie these in one at a time. And I like them coming back like halfway, halfway into this possum. Make sure they're the same length. Give them a check, that's perfect. And you can still adjust the angle and what have you. I like them to sort of angle slightly upwards and come into this, into, into the same angle as the possum fur. That gives you a nice, a nice uh, shape, really. And it stops the eye being lost in amongst the dubbing, it's going to come later. So, to stop these ever getting pulled out or whatever, we bit a super glue and just bang that over the top. I'll trim these. About two thirds of what's left. Tied everything up again. Then at the one third mark, where you start my thread. Do a bit of dubbing. And don't be shy with your dubbing here. Get your thread well loaded up. Now, this is not a very durable fly because there's no rib or nothing, it's just dubbing. So, what you can do to help it is put a bit of head cement, nail polish, whatever, or no glue, but uh, cement on your thread wraps and then dub over them. And you can see them dubbing towards the back of the fly, towards the face of the shrimp. Just keep tightening that up as you go in there that's the sort of thick end of the shrimp if you like right the head end's always the thicker end and the ta tapering towards the tail right same again just except sparser now and there's only got to be a single layer. So I'll just dub this. I mean, still a fair amount because it's going to be brushed. Right? Um, you want this sparse, but because you've got to brush it and trim it, you want more than you maybe normally would think of as a, giving you a sparse body. Same again. A wee, a wee lick of head cement, no much, just a small amount just to help kind of stick it. And then, wind your body back, T tightening up as you go. And then, you get to the eye. If there's any excess, you need to remove that. Just lift that off your thread. Come 
come in and whip finish. Make sure that knot's nice and tightly seated from your waist, and then we're almost done. All that remains to be is to brush the fly. I like to brush everything out, and then and then sort of brush it towards the rear. Gives you a very nice sort of shrimpy profile. And then all we do is we come in here and trim away. The seal for to create a nice thin thin back section but leave some for you to create legs in that at the at the kind of thoracic area or thoracic area. I mean up to you how fussy you are but there you go that that really gives you a nice shrimpy shrimpy shape. This, I mean it's a very good simple fly. Um, that, he, that this guy's come up with and it's well worth a place in your box for sea trout or other species I mean there's there's loads and loads of saltwater fish that like this um, so I'm just going to finish it off with a wee bit of varnish over the thread wraps there there you have it that's the Hoover shrimp really really Nice wee shrimp, unweighted. You can fish it shallow water, or you can, you know, you can just allow it fish it very slow, let it hang, and, and hover. As I say, I've added the fluorescent orange here just to create a wee target point, but the fly is much the same. Just the fluorescent orange and the the extra head cement and the underbody to toughen it up a bit. So I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If it was. Uh, Please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines guys. Bye.